everybody, welcome to the Toronto Motorama. James Doyle here. I'd like to invite you to follow me on my journey to learn from race car drivers, builders and CEOs of today's automotive industry on what tomorrow's technology will bring. Cars are awesome! So I'm here with uh, Megan Gilles, who is the prettiest uh, F2000 race car driver I've ever met. So how are you? I'm very well, thank you, James. So tell us, uh, tell us about yourself and where you're from. So I'm from Richmond Hill, and I'm 17 years old, and I am the driver of this Formula 2000, and I also drive a Formula V. That's pretty cool. So what is special about this car in particular? Well, I really enjoy driving this car because it has a lot of power and also the aerodynamics makes it a really interesting vehicle to drive. It's different to the Formula V that I drive as well because of the aerodynamics and that power. That's pretty cool. So, what is this? would you say that you prefer this over your Formula V? I really like both. I'll be racing both of them this year. I'll be driving the Formula V in the Challenge Cup series in the US and Canada, as well as in the Sports Car Club, Club of America Majors Championship. All right. So just tell us about the actual car and what uh, what did you have in, like, what, how much did you take part in actual, like, picking out this car, designing it, and, yeah. So, this Formula 2000 is a Van Diemen chassis and it is a 2 liter Ford ZTEC engine. Um, it's actually my dad's car originally. He drove it before he retired from racing and now I am the lucky person who gets to drive it. That's pretty cool, yeah. So it's kind of like um, a generational thing, so it's being passed down for generations. It really is. My grandfather was actually the first one to start racing in the family, and then he passed that down to my dad, and now he is letting my brother and I have a go in racing this car as well as in carts and in the Formula V. That's pretty cool. So is the Formula V passed down in any sort of way? Um, my dad actually raced a Formula V as well, not the same one that I have, but he raced in the Canadian Championship uh, in 2000. That's pretty cool. So when did he retire and when he retired, was that when you decided, hey, I want to race? No, he actually retired um, just over a month ago. We both did a race together in Interlagos in Brazil, yeah. racing Formula Vs. It was an amazing experience, and he deci decided yeah. that there he figured that since he'd started his career racing in England at Silverstone, a Formula One track, yeah. he decided to finish his racing career at Interlagos in Brazil, another Formula One track. So that we did that race together, so that wasn't really when I decided that I wanted to start racing. I decided that when I was nine years old and I drove a go-kart for the first time, that's what really created my passion for the sport. That's pretty cool. So what is the difference between go-karting and normal race car driving for you? So go-karting is a lot lower power and also the it doesn't have any suspension, so that was something I needed to adjust to as well. Uh, Go-karts are also much lighter, so getting used to the weight and learning about the weight transfer in cars like this and in the Formula V was a big step for me, but I found that I've really enjoyed driving yeah. cars and go-karts have really helped me to step, take that step into cars. So for people that want to be race car drivers, would you say that go-karts are the perfect place to start? Absolutely. I would really recommend karts and either four strokes or two stroke cuts to start with depending on how much you've had how much experience you've had driving um, and then a next step for from go cuts would be to go into formula v or formula 1600 both yeah. really good series that a lot of drivers have taken to what was it like to race against your dad and who won that race it was an amazing experience we actually had a really close race against each other and i was the one who beat him in the end and it was a really good battle that we had up until the last lap where we spun off with one corner to go. But up until that point, we were exchanging places every lap and we'd be going through corners side by side. It was a lot of fun and really fun as well to race against my dad and to see just how racing has come through the generations in our family. Well, that's pretty cool. 
So tell us about the helmets you have behind you. The helmets I have behind me are the Vux Helmet brand and they are really advancing in technology in both safety and in driver comfort with things such as radio inserts and th things like that that are really helping drivers to become more comfortable and feel safer in the car. There'll be a, hel a helmet brand that I will be using later this year. So how helmets are like the most important part of racing, right? They are super important, especially for driver safety. All right, so that's pretty cool. So Miller Oil sponsors this car, right? Yes, it does. It's the oil that we use both in this Formula 2000 and also in the Formula V. And it's brilliant technology in oil. It uses nanotechnology, which is really making advancements in the oil industry, helping our car to run longer and faster. So that's pretty cool. Now, just thank you for this amazing time and telling us about uh, where you're from and the heritage of your history and why you started. Okay, thank you so much, James, right. and thank you for having so me on this so much, interview. Thank you. Hey, James, do you want to try and sit in the car, check it out? Do I ever? Oh, and by the way, the keys come with it, right? No. Sorry, oh. buddy. <laughs> Thank you.